the first thing I want to show you guys is my custom distribution plate. This this lovely piece of, uh, of kit right here and how I went through all the different design steps and phases to get it to where it is. Let's kick it off with an awesome build montage of the CNC work. Okay, so we're almost done with the CNC process. As you can see, the holes are drilled, the big holes are drilled, the other holes are drilled. Um, the counter sunk hasn't happened yet. And now we need to cut the O-ring channel. It's looking very good. So this is the calibration process. So the CNC machine comes down. Touch that little pad there, and then it knows, it knows where how deep the blade is with a bit of. Okay, so one of the good ideas I had with my computer upgrade was that I was gonna that I wanted to build a custom distribution plate um, as a display piece. So water cooling is I would say 90-99% about the look. Um, functionally I think it makes very little difference to how your system performs um, unless you're probably into serious overclocking. But uh, for me, it was just a visual, a pimp my ride uh, sort of motivation. So this is the demo one. Um, I think it came out really nice. Uh, let me show you. After a few design iterations back and forth, um, we came up with the final design. This is the front plate. It looks like that. And then this is the one with all the, the goodies inside. And this one I'm going to keep protected because it's got that reflective layer at the back that is the that's the plate so there's your design we've got the manual boom in there and we've got all our, our ports and our channels going through this so this is going to be mounted on the chassis itself um, which i think is going to look freaking cool our pump is going to sit over here and it's going to be pumping cold water or yeah, cold water after the radiator but it's going to be pumping cold water into the plate over here this then is going to be your GPU cold supply, and then this here is going to be your CPU cold supply. So this is our CPU return, so there's CPU cold, CPU hot return, GPU cold, GPU hot return over there, sorry, there we go. So those are your two hots coming down. This then obviously is the hot line from the components, this goes to the radiator. The radiator will be sitting more or less here at a 90 degree angle. And after the radiator, it comes back into this, which is just a little flow channel. So it flows into there, and then out from there, it goes to the pump. So those are the three channels or loops we have in the plate. I'm peeling these together for your sensation. There we 
go. Lovely. Kobe! So this is going to go onto this like so. There we go. And they all line up nicely. And it's going to look like that. Look at that. Lovely. I've got to install these O-rings. You put your O-ring, you've got to get the exact length of your O-ring. And once you're done with that, you then take it out and you glue it together with a Bosch stick. This is called Blitz stick. Um, super glue. So I don't know in your country what they call it. But in my country, we call it super glue. It's a super runny glue. And uh, it's booby trapped because the cap is sealed, the, the actual metal. And when you puncture it, uh, you're squeezing on this end. And that makes the glue inevitably, inevitably run over your fingers. So, And then if you do touch your fingers, then they can get stuck. Oh. Remember American Pie? That, that, that's the glue. Hey, don't worry, Jimbo. You're going to be fine, buddy. Jim, this happens to the best of us. Use it only what it's meant to be used for. There we go. Lovely little square cut, because that's going to make gluing the pieces together so much easier. I would recommend you do not design your plate to have sharp bends, because getting the O-ring to stay in the damn bend is really hard. It's a bit of a pain with such a small, thin O-ring, I think. But I do like it. I really like the look of it. So, um, and seeing as this is all about the visual, uh, we're going to stick with it. So, we're done with all three O-rings. Now, what I've did with this one, is I actually dabbed it. You can see it. It's over there. Is the is the join, and uh, I just put a spot of glue on it, and uh, it obviously fuses the two fuses the two rubber ends together, and it didn't leave a mark. So and this is in so nicely. I'm just going to do the same. There we go. It is done and uh, it's assembled um, there you go so that's what the plate looks like I think it looks pretty spectacular um, I'm very happy with it let me show you what these things are so these are the little the little shrouds I had cut this is aluminium and uh, they were bent and then I had them powder coat coat so they fit on over there like that and there's a little gap at the back here where the LED strip light must fit in. So the LED strip light has to be st stick, stuck on that. Um, but we'll get to that later when I do the LED stuff. And um, for now, I want to pressure test this. So this here is a solar hot water pump. I use this in solar installations sometimes. I actually don't use this because 12 volt pumps for domestic hot water is not the most reliable. So um, anyway, I hot wired this to a little Molex connector. So it's going to get power from the CPU or the uh, PSU at least, the power supply, and then this will run. I bought some silicone tubing because this can go all the way to 250 degrees and uh, plug in fittings for the silicone. So I'm going to go ahead and screw some of these into the distribution plate. Uh, they just screw in like that. I'm going to force the water through the channels and I'll plug some of the holes and then just see if I get any water bubbles forming in between the plates. And then I know there's a leak. So if I plug this in to my computer, so I've got my computer here and it's on. So if I stick that in there, it takes a while to start up. If you can hear it. Anyway, that buzz bzz, is it running. I'm going to stick this on the outlet, stick this in the a bucket of water that I got here. Let's go, bucket of water. Careful. There we go. 
Okay, so now we're gonna prime the pump, otherwise it's not gonna suck. All right, so I'm gonna... to prime it. Can you believe it? You know what? I'm actually going to suck on this. All the bubbles coming out. So if you ever need to know how to prime your pump, that is the best way to prime it is just to suck on it. Don't prove me wrong, yeah? You're embarrassing me. That's how you do it. Plugged in. I can see a bit of water in the in the loop already. You can see it there. Come the bubble, and I'm going to fire this up again, and then the water should be coming out over there. Okay, there we go. Okay, so both of those firing now. I don't, I don't see any water, any bubbles forming, or water at least forming inside between the two plates. Not at my O-ring join as well. I'm going to go ahead and plug one of the joins. And uh, now the other one. So now basically we should have maximum pressure. And uh, it looks good. So if this project fails, I can always install this somewhere in the house and just make a pretty water fountain out of it. Lovely. It's lovely. I'm going to go ahead and pressure test the other two loops. And if they pass, I'm going to call this good. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick, I'm going to stick the Corsair lighting strips inside these shrouds like this so they at least put light inside there and i'm going to stick basically i think it wraps to about there so let me do that first So this is my first uh, custom water distribution plate um, and I think it came out real nice. So let me just take you through the design here. Yeah? Um, what we've got is the pump is going to sit over there on this little CNC bracket. It's going to look like that on special little clamps that I made for it. And basically from the pump this is your cold loop. So this is cold in from the pump and then that is cold to the GPU, cold to the CPU. Returning over there is the hotline, so that returns hot from the CPU and that's going to return hot from the GPU and then from here it goes into the radiator over there and then out from the radiator on this side um, obviously radiator is going to sit 90 degrees facing that way out from the radiator and then it goes into this manual boom center channel and then from there it goes back into the pump well thanks for watching um, this one on my distribution plate if you do like tech nerd stuff then uh, subscribe to the channel i'll sort of be doing always be doing tech stuff i'm definitely interested in it and there's a few more episodes to follow on the rest of the build um yeah it's gonna be pretty cool it's